I hear the man of modern machinery, fighting for survival and resources. But what happened to these magnificent creatures of time, dating back to over 199 million years ago? Nobody really knows. But we may learn a few things from this informational video. This is The Jurassic Period by Carlos Dickens. The geological events that occurred during the Jurassic era are what you may or may not have heard of from your science teacher. A continental effect called Pangaea, causing all of the continents to move apart from each other. Notice how the countries can almost fit together, much like a puzzle. Pangaea is actually a supercontinent, thus all the present day continents created by the lower mantle of the earth, all combined into one. The continents were separated out with the convection process from the lower mantle, or predominantly the green one structure. The secondary process is called subduction, with the suffix sub meaning under. Subductions, or the superplume degree too, to form, separating the continents and after. Another geological effect taking place was the rise of mountains out of water. Earth's crust and volcanoes were continuously shifting and becoming active. With all of this activity, mountains began to form, and water levels rose as well, bringing up granite and other rocks and minerals. Volcanoes are what created most of the land mass from debris flowing from volcanoes and cooling down, creating land we walk on today. With land and rising waters came the weather. The climate during the Jurassic period was calm, even between warm and cold. It wasn't too hot or too cold like it would be in the summer or winter of modern day. To make it more simple, it was always tropical climates. Polar ice caps did not exist due to the lack of cold weather to freeze water into ice. Tropical weather is also slightly humid, and the plants and trees glow with the bright green, healthy for dinosaurs to eat. Speaking of dinosaurs, let's move on. One of the known things of the Jurassic era was the introduction of a bird-type dinosaur called Argeopteryx. Paleontologists claim this is one of the oldest known birds of its time. But another bird-type dinosaur could have roamed since the late Jurassic period. The size of the bird was about the size of a modern-day raven. The discovery of this majestic animal was around 1860 through 1861 in Berlin, where a feather was actually found, claiming to be from the Archipteryx. A skeleton was also unearthed during this time, matching the finding of the feather. A picture is unfortunately unavailable. A, a species was later found in 1956 near Langnalheim. This put everything together, thus predicting the Archaeopteryx. Along with flying dinosaurs, there was land and sea dinosaurs. The Jurassic period was a time where dinosaurs were the number one species on Earth. As you know, some dinosaurs are carnivores and some are herbivores. Some dinosaurs even eat both. With rule over the Earth, dinosaurs fought like the animals they were. Fighting over to take his prey and hunting down other small hitchhikers, one by one. The reasoning behind this the dominance of how dinosaurs came to be overpopulated is unknown, but cells may have a way to work with the amount of development of the dinosaurs. Just imagine a tiny cell growing to a 200 feet, 122 ton beast. Now, dinosaur size was the biggest at this time. Dinosaurs also became large and bulky around this time. For example, Diplodocus was 90 feet, 27 meters long, and about 52 feet, which is 16 meters tall. This could be from a mutation from dinosaurs mating and giving birth to even larger and tougher dinosaurs. As you can see from these pictures, different dinosaurs began to become smaller or even larger than humans. From what we have learned in biology, mutations from the past can change a human to what they are now, similar to the dinosaur's growth. A smaller dinosaur made with a larger dinosaur can create a new species of medium-sized dinosaurs. You can determine the same statistics from a human the same way. A tall man and a woman will have a tall offspring. Now that we've gone over geological and biological events, let's compare these two to make some coincidental connections. Extinction was a wipe out the dinosaurs, supposing it was a giant meteor that struck Earth. The shifting 
Plague of Earth could have changed how a certain dinosaur species lived, thus affecting the adaptation of the dinosaurs and possibly the population. We could also conclude that Pangea brought the dinosaurs together. At this point, dinosaurs could have started mating and new species were born, as well as more dinosaurs would be able to populate the Earth, thus giving dinosaurs the dominance of Earth. It's fact time! Did you know the smallest dinosaur egg was only three centimeters long? Amazing! Although the species was unable to be tracked down from the egg, um, did you know the dumbest dinosaur, the who, was the stegosaurus with a brain the size of a walnut? It weighed 75 grams, it was only three centimeters long. He's definitely not getting into heart. You have watched a Carl's Dickens. You have watched a Carlos Dickens production. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.